hey guys welcome to a new video and welcome to my channel if this is your first time here i'm suma and i like to share free crochet patterns for everyone to try so while you're here press the subscribe button along with the little bell to get notified every time i upload a new pattern speaking about new patterns i have launched my website a couple months ago and I've already shared some of my YouTube patterns in written form and with symbol diagrams. So be sure to check it out and subscribe for my newsletters. So now it's time to talk about today's pattern. It is called the Baby Blossom Summer Dress. You can check out the written pattern in the link in the description box and follow it step by step. I'm including the armpit decreases in this video just to make it easier for you to work on the rhythm pattern. I'm gonna start with row number 8. And as you can see I'm using some markers to mark my armpit area. So here I already marked the wrong side so I'm just remarking the uh, the right side so what I'm going to do I'm going to skip some stitches where I start my row so count back three stitches and insert your marker leaving behind 49 stitches for the sleeve and marking the other side as well so we do this step just to make sure that the work isn't started at exactly the armpit so I leave some space for me to uh, adjust the pattern and like you can see as you can see I've skipped three stitches from the right side and I will start now with row number eight and here I will slip stitch in the next stitch and the one that follows and make three chains yarn over skipping one stitch make one double stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and again chain one skip one stitch and make a double crochet in the next like this and continue working as we did in the row number six and when you reach the other marker at the other side i'll show you how to join the parts together to make the sleeves and the body and now as you can see i've reached the part before the marker on the other side and i'm finishing off this ch uh, chevron stitch and in this part I will make one double crochet two together as you can see as we did in row number six and here I will continue working by yarning over and working in the next stitch and as you can see I'm inserting my hook on the other side the parallel side Two stitches together and pulling the yarn through and making a double crochet and that's how we join the armpit side and make the sleeve and here flip your work again yarn over and insert your hook in the first stitch from this side without inserting it from the other side so here we're just inserting in it in one space and making a double crochet and after making this part this stitch we can remove the marker because we've already joined our work like this and as you can see I have two double crochets one from each side the sleeve is now separated from the body and next I'm going to continue working on the chevron stitches as we did before always refer to row number six when working in this row which is number eight just to be sure that your steps are all right and you're achieving the final 
look that you want so continue working on the stitches and i'll be back when i reach the other side of the armpit and now that i've made the last double crochet two together i will chain one i'm gonna yarn over and insert the hook in the next stitch and as you can see i'm inserting my hook on the other side as well so here we are inserting from both sides to join the work and making the sleeve and the arc armpit and again flip your work yarn over and insert your hook in the first stitch without inserting it from the other side remove your marker and finish off this row as usual and here you can see how I finish my rows yarn over one double crochet in the next stitch and at the same time insert your hook in the third chain from the beginning of this row and make a slip stitch through both stitches and now we're done and we're going to start with row number nine so what I did is I started with row number nine and worked my stitches as I did in row number seven and now I've reached the uh, the first armpit and I'm going to show you how to work these stitches uh, that aren't typical to the other ones just this part you need to follow me step by step just to be sure what you're doing so here as you can see I've reached the the space before the double crochet two together and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook in the space before the double crochet two together as you can see right here and I'm gonna pull through my loops my first two loops and I will leave two loops on the hook just skip the double crochet two together and insert your hook in the next stitch again yarn over and pull through all the loops again yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch and don't finish your stitch just keep two loops on the hook as usual we're going to join the stitch with the space behind the double crochet two together right here i'm inserting my hook in this space and double crochet two together and these two stitches so now we have two double crochets two together consecutively after finishing the step continue working your stitches as you did in row number seven and working my double crochets without chains in between so just finish this part and and now finish your row and come back to show you the next row how we're going to join these two double crochets two together and here I finished the work in this row I've repeated the steps from row number nine and or eight I don't remember exactly but you can get it uh, you can follow the steps of each similar row and here what i'm gonna do is yarn over and i will work one double crochet i'm sk i'm skipping a stitch and working in the next stitch which is a double crochet right here i will make one last double crochet and then i will join these two stitches together these two consecutive double crochet two together and making one instead of two so here i'm making a double crochet two together in both stitches next i will yarn over i'm gonna skip or i'm gonna work in the next stitch right away and then i will chain skip a stitch and work one double crochet in the next and continue working on this row the same way we did before as you can see the steps are very typical but 
and only this part of the armpits is a little bit different so just follow the steps and you'll be okay and next I will show you how to finish this part and keep on working the same way you can repeat your rows if you're working for a baby you should keep on working in the same way it's like we're repeating two rows two rows two rows but if you're working this dress for an adult you should be aware of something you should stop working or increasing your stitches after finishing the armpit part and you should start working your rows without any increases i'll be explaining this part in another video but for the baby size or the girly size you can follow the instructions in this video what i did for the adult size is that after i finished the armpit part i kept on working my rows without any increases so the dress would go straight to the hips or to the lower waist after reaching the lower waist you should re-increase your stitches and work on the typical rows from the first part of the dress so this video is explaining how to work for baby sizes only i will be uploading a video very soon just to explain how to work the adult size so stay in tune for this video and i'll be getting back to you to explain every step you need to know about the adult dress thank you for watching this video i'm so happy that you're here and don't forget to give this video a like or a thumbs up and to subscribe for more free crochet patterns and don't patterns. forget to check out my new blog for free crochet written patterns and again you can find all my diagrams on that website if you want to read a diagram while working on your crochet pieces you can go and take them as a reference thank you for watching see you next time and goodbye